in order to help us use the resources of the Graduate Theological Union to look forward to the kinds of questions that are opened up by this marvelous book. We have invited two of GTU's um, leading scholars in this field to present to us um, some reflections upon the book of their choice. Uh, and it's my privilege to introduce both of them to you, but let me just first say we need to acknowledge for them the difficulty um, coming to a, a situation where they only can speak for a little while and to a, a, an audience that they can assume is um, largely um, positive towards this book. So I thank them both for uh, stepping out of their own snail shells and uh, doing this for us. It'll be, a, I think, a marvelous attempt to make, again, in a very small way, uh, give us a sense of where all of these questions might lead us. The first of these speakers is Professor Robert J. Russell, who is Professor of Theology and Natural Science here at GTU, the director and co-founder of the Center for Theology and Natural Sciences. He's a member of the First Congregational Church of Berkeley and ordained minister of the United Church of Christ Congregational. He also has the privilege of being a native of Los Angeles, uh, something that is which I am as well. Um, so um, uh, he did his uh, PhD in physics at the University of California at Santa Cruz. He did his theological studies here at the Pacific School of Religion. And he's been at the GTU since 1981, the year where he founded the Center for Theology and Natural Sciences. He's a member also of the core doctoral faculty of the Graduate Theological Union. His themes have always um, been those around theology in relation to natural sciences, as the center says. More particular issues of time and eternity in relation to physics. He's worked towards a non-interventionist objective divine action, as he calls it, in regards to quantum mechanics. Talked about Christology and life in the universe of creating and his relationship to a physical cosmology of theological and scientific methodologies and of interreligious dialogue in natural science. Uh, he has had a great deal of close cooperation with the Vatican Observatory in Arizona and has published with them a number of, of works um, coming from them and the University of Notre Dame Press on science and religion. So he's very well qualified to speak to these issues and I'm very, very uh, thankful to him that he's agreed to come and share with us these ideas. Professor Russell. Thank you. 